Hey guys, Footy Manager TV here. Welcome to episode number three of my FC Barcelona FIFA 16 career mode series. And you see there, we did sell one player. He wasn't too amazing, about 60 rated striker. Just getting rid of some Deadwood really more than anything, which I think we have to do. But now, more important things, Jose Gaia, left back. You know we did sell Alba. I definitely didn't plan to sell him. Uh, seeing some of your guys' comments, I know you may not be too happy with me selling him as he probably won't leave Barcelona in real life, but I suppose that's what separates real life and a video game. And also when I get caught up in the moment of making counter offers, and I do counter high on purpose because I don't intend generally to sell the player, but sometimes you can get some decent money. And I think the money we got for Alba was really good and we used it wisely. Uh, on Gaia, hopefully he will join though, definitely Adriano, Yeah, you would love to have both of them, wouldn't you, that would be amazing, but the thing there then, one of those players, Alba or Gaia, will be unhappy with not playing every single game, so yeah, it's hard, yeah, you got to manage your squad really well, and also, I just want to mention once more, the response to this series, absolutely amazing, so now I want to be uploading two career mode videos a day, and with this series, I definitely want one a day of this series, so if you can continue to hit that 500 likes like you have been so far on this series, I'll look to upload two career modes at least every single day, and I'm still going to have my Leeds United career mode coming as well, for those of you wondering about that. I haven't stopped at 100%. This series is just kicking off, so I want to have, yeah, a few episodes coming out, just so you guys know. Then I'll have those both two running as we finish up the squad report here. I cannot wait for the following season with Alan Halilovic, where I can get him back from being on loan. Of course, he could develop a lot this season out on loan, so someone said, I think, to recall him, to train him, but we can do that next season. He can get some first-team football this season, and maybe we could even introduce him into the first team next season, like you've seen with my signings already, buying someone like Pepelu. I like signing these younger players and developing them, and Jose Gaia, 15 million for a young player with really high potential, but he's still first team that's the thing he's 80 overall and I think someone told me he might have 87 potential and grow into something like an 88 or 89 if you train him well along with playing most games because he's still a young player so no doubt he will be better than Alba in overall sense anyway and now is another case like this with Rakitic we're going to counter 50 million with Manchester United and see what they respond with but again, another training session. So many of these, which is good. Look, Papelu, he's coming along really, really well. The vision and short passing, almost a 64 overall. Our transfer offer coming in here for Moy Delgado. Don't think he has the highest potential. But then, Manchester United counter with 41 and a half million. I was seriously considering that. And then I went to accept because if you look at his value and then also the chief executive comments, like I mentioned before, the maximum, it's more than that. So I think that's a really good value, even though he probably won't leave Barcelona in real life. That's what I mean. It's the value and making good negotiations. And that's what I pride myself on. And Rakitic, I know he's a good player, but there's something about him that, uh, not that I don't like him, but I think I could get a better, a more talented player in. We'll have to see if we do that though, while still being a realistic transfer. And on the topic of realism, now I'm going to be sending out a youth scout to Cameroon, another five-star judgment youth scout we have got now. If you know about Barcelona in real life, a while ago, they did get a few Cameroonian young talents through uh, with the Samuel Eto Foundation. Of course, you know, Samuel Eto was a fantastic player for Barcelona. He scored over 100 goals for them, so they had a deal. I'm not sure if it's still in effect. It was more in 2013, but I still want to try and do that anyway. I think that could be a nice little thing uh, we could do. That could be realistic also, not just a transfer side of things. So maybe if I make one transfer you don't think is realistic, I'm doing a lot of other things that could be realistic with my other signings I make as well, bringing in Spanish players and everything like that. But here, uh, we've had some youth scouts come back, the one from Spain, and you saw the one just before uh, from Brazil getting some talents in, and there you go, Rakitic, it's all agreed. 41 and a half million, no doubt. I'll say it again, Rakitic is a great player, but I feel now we have a lot of money to bring someone in. I'm not going to use it all, obviously, uh, but I think we can get someone talented that can take his position, and I did get Scout a future 
star. So we got to see in a few weeks who he'll come back with. And we got all those scouts. Like that looks so promising for the future. So we continue to bring through a great youth team, most definitely. And you'll see that really introduced in like the second and third season. Then you'll be, oh, this is really, really exciting. All these young talents coming through like Barcelona would have in real life. So here I was just showing you the squad, how it's looking right now. Looking pretty good, to be honest, because we did just sell Rakitic. We needed to bring in another player. And that's the thing. Arda Turan is still a great player. He's 84 rated. Even if I didn't sign someone else, which I will... He'll be good enough. I know he's right midfield and centre mid, but he's got some crazy technical attributes. Definitely a creative player. I'd rather him centrally than wide because, yeah, out wide, he doesn't have the pace. And here, I just want to show you, I am playing on legendary. Five minutes also, and any other details. Losing the time of day, I don't change. And also sliders. People wonder what sliders I use, but I don't touch them at all. I've never, ever touched them in FIFA. If I touch them, I'll probably make myself play worse. So, yeah, I have no idea how sliders work. Also, you can see my camera settings. Just want to show you everything in really the first game I play of the season. So, there's no questions asked. You can see it all already. So, here we're winning the ball back in defense. Looking to create an early chance. Iniesta on the ball. No doubt he's absolutely amazing, Iniesta. But he is getting older. Lionel Messi plays it through to Turan. Mentioned him before. He plays it back. To Messi. Can Lionel Messi create something? Has an opportunity with the finesse shot, but it's straight at their goalkeeper. And now we're playing it out of defense from a free kick. We did earn still early in the game. Danny Alves played it through to Lionel Messi out wide on the right. He's cutting into the box now. Finds Turan. Turan! He almost scores. What an effort and what a build-up play there from Barcelona. That was that's, that's exactly what I want to be creating with that passing. Football, but a cross comes in. Aduriz misses on the first attempt and then he scores on the second attempt later in the game pushing towards to the 60th minute of course now in the second half was a bit disappointing to concede in that fashion PK was there couldn't really beat him and you know Aduriz absolutely a great target. I was going to say like one of the better strikers in FIFA but not sure if some people think so but he's definitely really good he can score for you but at this stage, we definitely had to make a change. Rafinha, he's a guy I definitely want to develop as well. I want to be developing a lot of these Barcelona players already at the club. I want him to be part of the first team. He's not a player I would be thinking to sell. And again, Iniesta not going to last the 90 minutes. Sergio Roberto is another one like that. They're not really a young... They're not really young players with high potential anymore. They're not like an 18-year-old, 19. They're pushing to their 20s, and they want to become part of the first team to take over from someone like Andres Iniesta. And we're just going to see if they can do so. But now Lionel Messi. We're going to look for the corner, see if we can create something. It's going to be Busquets, but unfortunately, he heads it straight at the keeper. So we're not without chances in this first game of the season here. First competitive game, but it is an early cup game like in England you'll compare like the community shield I don't treat them so seriously but still a competitive game before the real thing and we win a penalty late we had to there that was the last chance of the game Laporte fouling Messi a bit unsure about Laporte maybe I was thinking about him as a signing at some point in this career mode as a Spanish centre-back. But we're going to go to Lionel Messi. Even though he may not have the highest penalty stat, it's only 74. Surely it should be higher, don't you think? Messi's still a decent penalty taker, not 74. So hit it in the green, and he's able to finish as we get a very late, important goal here in this game, in this cup game, in the first leg, don't forget. So who knows? You'll see the second leg in the next episode. It could be, it could very well be an important goal to help us win this cup. But most definitely Lionel Messi, that was all him there to win the penalty. But again, the build-up was decent. And especially this late in the game, it's so hard to break down defenses, especially when they're playing really, really defensive, holding onto the ball. But I didn't panic. And I actually really enjoyed this game here. It was frustrating. It took a while to score the last minute of the game, but I thoroughly enjoyed it. Playing with Lionel Messi is absolutely amazing. But someone who caught my eye was Mark Bartra in defense. Got a very good rating. He's a guy, also, you might think, sign someone like Laporte. But Bartra, I know he's 24. Maybe he won't develop amazingly. But it'll be very good to see him play well 
and become a first team player. I don't want to end up selling him because he doesn't develop and continue to grow in his attributes. At 24, he has to become a first team player. So we're going to see how he goes. But at 24, as I said, you, for Barcelona's quality, you probably want someone that's better than just 80 rated. Don't know what your opinions are on Bartra. Will he develop to be that world-class centre-back that we need for Barcelona? So the guy I'm looking to replace Rakitic with is Oliver Torres. We just need to wait until we get a scout report on him when we can see his value. So I know the right price we can sign him for. But now it's another game against Bilbao. But this time it's going to be the first league game of the season. I see this one so much more important. The other one was just a cup game, and we got another leg. But first game of the season, it almost sets the tone for the season. Of course, if you lose, you can always come back. It, it's not really going to affect your season badly, but still, like you always want to start well. You always want to get a win, and you're sitting in that top four position early, without a doubt. But the thing is, we have to rotate. And Vidal, well, I suppose we don't have to play him at right back, we, need, we definitely need Danny Alves to be playing the next game. So they're going to create an early opportunity. Aduriz, I'm really scared of him, of what he did in the first game with his header. But now it's um, Obey Gomez. What he's going to do? Finds Arasso and Ter Stegen. He is beaten near post. He did actually get his hand to it. And that is very, very disappointing. Especially you can get a hand to it near post if you concede. You see that as a disappointment and a shot you should have saved. So Gomez was very dangerous there. And Tostegan just couldn't save it. Very disappointing. And the rest of the half was that exactly. Very disappointing. Couldn't create much. Neymar running through there. Tried to play it through to Suarez again. It was a really poor pass. Honestly, I pressed pass and it just it doesn't go to him. Very disappointing. And we just couldn't create anything once again. And so we need to be playing much well, honestly. I haven't... Oh, I don't think I've been playing too badly. It's just really hard to create opportunities. But we do have one here. Really good passing. And we do finish through Sergio Busquets. Probably not the man you would expect to come up with an equalizing goal. The defensive midfielder generally would be sitting back, but we were looking for that other number to make the run. So he was pointing. He was pointing to where he was running to, and he finished. That was a really, really well-worked goal, and how they would do it in training Barcelona. Busquets told him, play it in front of me, and they did, and he uh, did his part of the bargain by finishing that. So now I was really, really focused on going for a winner. As I said, I would love to start the season with three points to set the tone for the season as well. But unfortunately, I wasn't that focused on defending. That was a bit disappointing that we conceded. And talk about th that goal. It was absolutely amazing. That first touch, one touch stuff, Athletic Bilbao. That's absolutely amazing. Just look at that once again. That's like Barcelona passing from Athletic Bilbao. Can only credit them for that, but I'm really disappointed in myself because I wasn't focusing on defending as much as I should have because I was so focused on getting a late goal. And unfortunately, it was no case. It was not the case, really. And of course, they wanted to yeah frustrate me late by time wasting. This It's really annoying to see, as you can see by my players just sliding in. I couldn't get the ball. And I know this game's over here because I couldn't win the ball back by those time wasting tactics. Probably the most frustrating, in, frustrating thing in FIFA and real life as well. It happens in real life. So arguably, it should be in the game. But it's something that annoys me because I was so frustrated that I just conceded a goal as well. I thought we could potentially, yeah, get another. But now Oliver Torres, we've got the value back, 11 million. He's got flair as well. He could be a new Iniesta because he could play attacking midfield as well. Iniesta in his younger days, yeah, played that more attacking role and even out wide on the left on some occasions. So he could be a big player for Barcelona. I think he's that Barcelona type. He's definitely got that skill uh, passing ability and just attacking ability. Of course, not going to sell PK, but that's it for now. As I said, please hit 500 likes on this video for another Karimo video later today, and I'll see you guys next time.